An entrepreneur is four distinct personalities. Hear me, four distinct personalities. A dreamer, a thinker, a storyteller, and a leader. I'm gonna shut up and we're gonna start talking with the author of in my claim, this is the number one book ever written on entrepreneurship in the world, the e-myth, okay? We are gonna talk about why you built a job for yourself, maybe not even a practice, maybe not even a business, and certainly not an enterprise. It's with great pleasure that I introduce to you the one and only Michael Gerber. Michael, please unmute. When you and I were talking, you broke down. First of all, uh, you know, for those that have been living under a rock and have not read the book, The E-Myth, uh, <laughs> you know, introduce kind of what your what your your lifelong research project has been and an implementation project to transform the state of entrepreneurship world, worldwide. And then I have a whole line of questions about the fatal assumption and the entrepreneurial seizure and the dreaming room that we're going to be going through. <laughs> Wonderful, Bill. I'm delighted to be here, of course, and we had a lovely conversation earlier. Uh, I'm thrilled to address this condition that um, every single attorney in this call suffers from. Um, what I call the technician suffering from an entrepreneurial seizure rather than the entrepreneurs every single one of you should aspire to become. Hear me, should aspire to become. I want you to forget about the fact that you've gone to law school. I want you to forget about the fact that you've become an attorney. I want you to forget about the fact that you own a legal firm. I want you to remember only one thing. You were born to create. You were born to create. You were born in the image of God to create a world fit for God, and we're here to discuss in the short time that I'm going to be with you exactly how to do that. Is that fair enough, Bill? Oh my gosh, it's more than fair. Uh, so let's dive right into the number one question. What is the fatal assumption? <laughs> well, hear me. The fatal assumption is obviously that um, you starting your own business um, are an entrepreneur when in fact you're a technician suffering from an entrepreneurial seizure. Your attorneys, your attorneys, your attorneys, your attorneys, forget about the fact that you're an attorney, you're now an entrepreneur. And what does an entrepreneur do? An entrepreneur invents a new world. Hear me, invents a new world to transform a condition you've absolutely determined you're going to transform. An entrepreneur is four distinct personalities. Hear me, four distinct personalities. A dreamer, a thinker, a storyteller, and a leader. The dreamer has a dream, the thinker has a vision, the storyteller has a purpose, and the leader has a mission. This isn't just language, this is a fact. The dreamer has a dream, the thinker has a vision, the storyteller has a purpose, and the leader has a mission. Hear me, that resides at the heart of every single thing that every single one of you propose to do to transform the state of entrepreneurship worldwide by truly investing yourselves in becoming a dreamer, a thinker, a storyteller, and a leader. Does that make sense to you, Bill? Oh, it, it makes a lot of sense. And I think, um, I think with lawyers especially, we just held this big event with 550 of them for three days. And, uh, and it, the, the number one thing that, that, we're try, that we're struggling with is how do I give up the casework? And I, I've always had this saying, and I got it from you, what is your case management system, right? Not how do you manage cases individually? So, and, and, I, and I say system the way you do, and you, that's why you laugh, because I said it just like you. You're a system, okay? How do you create a systems-driven business rather than a people-dependent business? So what's the difference between a systems-driven business versus a people-dependent business? 
Well, it's very, very simple. The system is how you create the result you're intending to create. This is how we do it here. This is how we do it here. This is who we are. So hear me. If you had a dream, your dream would be the great result you intend to produce through the legal service that you provide to your very specific consumer, who is your very specific consumer. You absolutely need to identify that consumer demographically. Very specific, very specific. Hear me, everything that we speak about as entrepreneurs is very specific. So who is that very specific consumer whose life you're about to transform? I'm suggesting the legal system that you design, build, launch, and grow is critical to being able to do that. That's the very first job once you have determined what your dream, your vision, your purpose, and your mission are. So let me share with you just so that you can get this and take this in, what my dream, my vision, my purpose, and my mission were when I founded my very first company, when in 1977. Hear me, 1977, when we created what we called the Michael Thomas Corporation. I was Michael, he was Thomas. And Thomas and I started out with a dream, a vision, a purpose, and a mission. So our dream way back then in 1977, understand we took a lot of time to determine what that was. Our dream was to transform the state of small business worldwide. That was our dream. What's your dream? Our dream was to transform the state of small business worldwide. Our vision, was to invent the McDonald's of small business development services. Why the McDonald's of small business development services? Because McDonald's was and is all these years later, the most successful small business in the world. Now hear me when I say the most successful small business in the world, you say, Michael, McDonald's isn't a small business, but of course McDonald's is a small business. Every single McDonald's store is exactly that, a small business. Replicated, 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 tens upon tens of thousands of times. So hear me, if I was going to then invent the McDonald's of small business development services, I was going to mimic what Ray Kroc did at McDonald's by creating a turnkey system for doing what we're setting out to do one time so we could replicate it thousands of times and deliver exactly the same result on the thousandth one as we did on the very first one. I'm suggesting you as attorneys can do identically the same thing. Our purpose was that every small business could in fact replicate exactly what I just said we set out to do by approaching it in identically the same way. And our mission was to design, build, launch and grow the business development system that would enable us to realize our dream, our vision, our purpose, and of course, our mission. Hear me, the four very distinct characters and personalities of an entrepreneur. The dreamer has a dream, the thinker has a vision, the storyteller has a purpose, the leader has a mission. Every single one of you, hear me, legal folks, Every single one of you is a dreamer, a thinker, a storyteller, and a leader to the degree you've taken on the role of entrepreneur. But hear me, if you haven't taken on the role of entrepreneur, you will never grow your legal practice successfully. Never, never, not a chance in hell will you be able to grow your legal practice until you separate yourself from that legal technician you are persistently become. You've got to awaken the entrepreneur within you, within you, within you. Look at it. You've got to awaken the entrepreneur within you.
every single one of you, dear friends. And when you do, something stunning will occur. Unbelievable. So, so Michael, the dreamer, the thinker, the storyteller, teller, the leader, and where do I do my legal work? <laughs> you don't. Where you do I do? Don't. <laughs> Hear me. You don't do your legal work. Once you've decided to become a dreamer, a thinker, a storyteller, and a leader, you're beyond the legal work that needs to be done. You have delegated the legal work to be done by designing your job, your practice, your business, your enterprise. Once That's you've created one. a dream, a vision, a purpose, and a mission, you've created the foundation for the growth of your practice, which is your job, your practice, your business, and your enterprise. You're going to go to work on the job. You're going to go to work on the practice. You're going to go to work on the business. You're going to go to work on the enterprise. Oh my goodness. So here on that picture, Bill, on that picture next to the job, put a dash and write your client fulfillment system. Your client fulfillment system. Your client fulfillment system. Your legal client fulfillment system. That client fulfillment system lives at the heart of what you're about to do. Put your practice and next to it, your client acquisition system. Your client acquisition system plus your client fulfillment system is your franchise prototype. Is your franchise prototype. Why a franchise prototype? Because you can't grow a business without one. Hear that. What's your business? Your business is your client fulfillment system, your client acquisition system times seven. Hear me, seven attorneys using your client fulfillment system and your client acquisition system, turnkey, 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 turnkey. You understand? <laughs> Plus your turnkey management system mm. plus your turnkey management system so you ask me friends what do i do if i let go of my legal work you become a manager of your business and as you become a manager of your business you go to work to create an enterprise and what's an enterprise it's seven businesses plus a leadership system, seven businesses, which is 49 practices, plus a turnkey leadership system. Hear the word turnkey. Please take it in. Turnkey, just like McDonald's, just like McDonald's, just like McDonald's, and nobody ever told you this before. But Michael, we have a professional firm. We're not making hamburgers. We're not making French fries. We're not making milkshakes. But of course you are. Stupid, <laughs> stupid, stupid. If you're not doing that, you can't grow. Oh, oh man. Goodness, it's exhausting. It's absolutely exhausting, Bill. What can I tell you? <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. <laughs>